Good day everyone and welcome to Excel News, the weekly show that brings you all the important news and information on Path of Excel. And the first news this week has been two new discoverable hideouts and these are actually free to play discoverable hideouts so that's really nice. First up is the Nocturnal Hideout, which you can find in the Moon Temple map and needless to say is just like the Lunaris Temple or the Moon Temple map and it looks pretty damn good. The other one is the Primeval Hideout and you can find it in the Primordial Blocks map and it looks totally amazing and also comes with a light switch which is a new thing I guess and it's incredible actually the light switch can be bought by from June and you do not need this hideout to buy it you just need June level 7 and uh, the switch is actually really really cool so definitely recommended and if you want these hideouts you just have to spam the maps and be lucky about it and overall it's really nice to see Finally something new and free for from GGG in the department of hideouts and these two are really really good so definitely something worth hunting for and finally something that you do not have to unlock every single league over and over. Also we got a community showcase and there's a lot of interesting stuff like music, artwork and all the kind of stuff but the most interesting one is definitely the Queen piece which is which has been commissioned by Queen actually this is a wonderful artist here and well it's basically a huge wallpaper with a lot of references in it from streamers uh, monsters from other games and all the kind of stuff so definitely recommended check it out if you haven't had the chance yet and see if you can spot all of the references in there also we got some uh, official concept art for the warlord mystery box and the armor here is absolutely amazing. I think this is one of the best armors I've seen in concept honestly. Uh, the problem is that in game it is not as good as this. Uh, it's definitely not as good as this. Most likely because the colors are, are not so... Um, how do you say it? Like the colors here kind of contrast with each other and you can tell the depth of the armor itself while in game it feels like everything is like on the same color and all these yellow parts are just burning so bright that you cannot see anything else so yeah it feels like in the game uh, GG is a bit too concentrated on the glowing parts rather than the armor itself the concept itself though is absolutely amazing look at this portal look at these weapons here it's so good overall definitely recommended to check it out if you like these kind of things and uh, the other mystery box stuff should come soon if you like concept arts so stay tuned on that also we got a new talent competition and it's that time of the year again i guess and also due to the covid most people probably have more time than usual on their hands which is good because uh, well this competition is basically everything on PoE that you can make of or think of and the three big criteria that are going to use to judge these are going to be of course the skill that you put into executing your talent, how true it remains to PoE, obviously I mean it's a PoE challenge and how compelling or entertaining the submission is which is pretty much all of the same thing basically anything about PoE that looks good or feels good or is easy to consume and just looks great so that's pretty much how the competition works you can see the prizes it goes up to the 20th place and there's a lot of runners up GGG usually gives more and more runners up also depending on how many players actually uh, participate into this and I suspect a lot will participate to be fair the best thing in all of these prizes is the cloth map of ray class sadly it's only up to the top three winners uh, but the cloth map is really something that's missing from uh, games in general I think I think the last, cl the last cloth map I saw was like Ultima 6 or something like that and these maps were absolutely amazing so hopefully uh, GGG is going to deliver a very very nice cloth map for the winners of course there's a lot of other microtransactions and everything so well if you want to enter just post uh, your submission in this thread I'll put the link in the description below of course and the only other thing that you need to know is that it ends on the 8th of March or well the 7th if you are in Europe basically it ends on uh, Sunday the 7th so it's pretty much 4 full weeks from now it's definitely enough time to actually do something about this just need to get your hand rolling and uh, well good luck if you want to participate it's definitely worth it and uh, 
it's something interesting to keep you from just playing 24-7, I guess. So yeah, I guess that's all for this week. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and a comment down below. Also, if you want to remain updated every week, be sure to subscribe to my channel. That was all, I've been your host Arjun, and I'll see you guys the next time.